welcome back to Salt Lake City, Utah for the men's finals of race stop number six, the WPH Simple Green race for eight between Sean Lenning and Luis Moreno. My name is Dave Benson alongside Dave Fink, Sean Lenning from Tucson, Arizona. Originally, linesmen are Kevin Price, Shoreline, Washington, and, and now he's in Tucson as a transplant, and Luis Moreno, originally right, from Mexico, now living in Tucson, finals. Arizona. Luis Moreno Serving is the race leader, Dave, Washington, and Sean Lenning, Sean Lenning is the power ranking leader. So this is a clash that we've seen multiple times on this race tour. Sean Lenning has yet to beat Luis Moreno, Dave, this season on the Race for a Pro Tour. Sean Lenning losing in Idaho to Luis Moreno in a tiebreaker, also losing Replay. Also losing Dave to Luis Moreno in Tucson. And zero, then again zero, zero. in Atlanta. So he's 0 for 3 on the year, but he is the number one ranked player. Normally David's the number one player with a 3 and 0 advantage Replay. over his competitors. But Luis Moreno has had Sean's number this season. Zero serve zero. It used to be the other way around. They started sparring against each other, Second and serve. Luis caught up. Now they don't spar anymore. Here's a big setup for Sean Lenny. That turns around with the left hand. Maybe a bad bounce off the back wall. Sean down to one knee. Luis just pokes it to the Point, front court. Out. Great hands there from Luis Moreno, Dave. He takes a ball that's about four inches high off the ground. And has that amazing touch. Point. Great serve from Luis. We talked about how hard it is to hit behind yourself there. Luis hits behind himself with so much power, Dave, that he catches the crack. And there's another Point. great crack from Luis Moreno. Two serves and two cracks. Three serves, zero. There's a reverse from Luis that stays straight. Luis looks really active right now, Dave. Well, Luis has amazing legs. Side up. His back wall game has not been very good this tournament, although he is here in the finals because he can run for days. One serves three. Purple. We've talked about Second this in serve. the past, Dave, when two big servers collide like they are here. I believe it's the guy that can hit more right aces or hit more serves that aren't returned that will end up Four winning the match. Four. Right now, it's Luis Moreno with two unreturned Short. serves, Sean Lenning with none. Second serve. Both these guys really feed off their serves. Point. And that's a terrible air, but still goes down, Dave, as an unreturned serve. Five serves, one. Short ball. Second serve. Don't forget, David. Sean Lenning has played Point. in the Pro-Am doubles all weekend, Six, sir, played one. three matches, two of them today, between his Point. singles and now finals matches. So you wonder how much he Seven, has left. Luis already with five unreturned serves. Make that Point. six. Six now of Luis Moreno's eight points, eight. Dave. He hasn't had to hit a shot beyond his serve. Point. And this game, Dave, is getting out of hand quickly. Nine serves one. You heard the score there at nine to one. This is rally scoring. And Sean gets his second right point here in game number one. This is the men's finals of the Simple Green WPH race for eight. Two serves, nine. Brought to you by Dewey Bail Bond. Good serve from Sean Lenning. Ace Disposal, also one of the big sponsors here at courtside. In fact, the, the stands are packed here. You can see people Slide in this out. overflow area, Dave. Which Look shows at the you. snap on that. Sorry to interrupt you there, Dave, but the snap on that Luis Moreno kill. That ball is up against the wall. He has that amazing torque. And there it is again, Dave. This is just an absolutely dominating performance. This is not the Luis Moreno that we saw earlier this morning, Dave, against Nadia lineup. Alvarado. Luis looked passive, unsure of himself, and a little bit aggravated 
But right now, he's very focused. He had his gloves on, Dave, about 40 minutes before this game started. He was hitting the ball around on the adjacent court. I'm not sure I've ever seen Luis this. You never see, finish a sentence. Uh, I was saying I've never seen Luis Moreno this focused for a match. He's been in the stands. He's been hitting the ball around throughout the day, trying to stay loose. And now he's out here looking for some water, and there's no cups at the Gatorade stand. That has to be probably frustrating seconds. for a player like that. Sean Linning is trying to stretch his leg here. Sean's had so many handball matches here in this tournament between the Pro-Am doubles and, and this men's finals. Sean taking a quick timeout there, and now Alan Garner, referee, tells him to get back in. Time in. Scores 11, serves two. Love this camera angle to watch the serve, Dave. Really gives you a great feel for just how difficult it is to return those serves. Side up. Three serves, 11. We just had the first ever Utah Handball Association right Hall of Fame induction, and a lot of the older players, Dave, sticking around. They bought their tickets to watch the finals here. Full you can only imagine three. what they're thinking seeing handball played at this speed. Just oh absolutely God. unbelievable. <laughs> Luis Moreno, Dave, I think it's fair to say in the zone right three. now. Short ball. Luis Moreno has yet to make an unforced error here in this first game. Point. Not a good looking shot from Sean 14 Lenny. Serves three. 14 to three is the score here in the first game. Point. Luis is just serving out of his mind right now here in Salt Lake City. This reminds me, Dave, of the Luis Moreno that I watched beat Paul Brady, particularly in the first game in that match, Luis Moreno played as good, better than anybody I've ever seen play the sport. 16 serves three. That was a 19 year old Luis Moreno who then turned 20 and then dominated that Tucson Pro Stop, stop a couple weeks later, defeating Dave Chapman in the finals, as I recall. Point. Seventeen serves three. Moreno's just running away with this. Not sure if he did defeat Dave Chapman in the finals there. Yeah, I think you're definitely right. Definitely was. I think you're right. He, Dave Chapman beat Sean Lenning in the semis Point. and then lost to the yeah, He definitely beat Chapman because I remember that on court interview with Chapman and Fred Lewis and the score was 21-12, 21-5. You're correct. Had to roll through my mental Rolodex there. Oh, I didn't need to have you tell me three. I was correct. I already knew I was. Hmm. 18 serves three here in game number one. Short ball. Second serve. Point. Nineteen serves three. Point. Twenty serves three. Look at Luis going down to one knee. Sean right follows it in though. Nice hands on the scoop re-kill from Sean Lenny. Sean Lenny serving here. Four serves, 20. Moreno just prepared for a lob serve. Amazing shot from Luis, a terrible right serve up. from Sean. It's very hard, Dave, when you're not a lob server to just step in there and feather a serve four. right over the short line down the left wall. Short ball. That was one of the most amazing Second serves serve. I've ever seen, even though it was short. Right up.
Five serves, 21. Short ball. You can only imagine Second what's serve. going through Sean's mind right now, hitting a lob serve. There's Side a out. point for Luis Moreno, Sean Lenning dipping that ball in. That's the same type of shot that he had five. against Dave Chapman at the Nationals. Mm -hmm. That would have given him Short. the first game. The first game and probably many the believe. national title. That's true. Second serve. Same exact shot, dipped right into that front right corner. Luis thinking Sean was out of the Point. play there. Took a lot off that, but Luis finishes it up with a beautiful paddle kill. Five. That's a shot that I believe Luis has really improved, Dave, is that front court fly paddle kill. Used to be a big liability of his. Point. <coughs> 24 serves five. That's first game. And Luis Moreno Remix. takes down Sean Linning. First game, 25 to five. And the crowd giving a, a slow round of applause here as Sean Linning exits the court and goes into his little pro player area. What happened there, Dave? Which Luis Moreno takes down Sean Linning really quickly in a game that only lasted about 10 minutes. That's mine, but you can have it. It's an 11 minute game. Luis Moreno registering 10 unreturned serves to Sean Lenning, zero. Luis Moreno also hitting seven kills to Sean Lenning's two. Sean Ma Lenning making a number of unforced errors. And I think everyone looking on here, Dave, in shock. They've seen Sean Lenning play two matches here. Some of them watched Sean play doubles. He looked devastating in much of that play and now here he is just being dismantled by his nemesis. Luis Moreno looking for his fourth win out of six stops. Want to say thank you, special thanks to Lou and Dom Sinone at Dewey Bail Bonds Incorporated. Dewey's Bail Bonds located in Salt Lake City. They have uh, reliability and they've served the area with professional bail bonding service since 1950, they think. I want to say hello to them. They are one of the major sponsors, as well as Ace Disposal and Ace Outdoor Advertising. I want to say hello and thanks to our benefactor, Mintech in Tucson, Arizona. Tucson Rolling Shutters, locally owned, nationally owned. TucsonRollingShutters.com. If you're going to check them out now, they can help you with your your commercial, residential, or business blind needs. So if you need rolling shutters, they can help you. I went to a a mall, Dave, and I saw that they. Those overhead doors that roll down to help keep certain businesses secure inside of a mall. Talked to Jeff Helam at Tucson Rolling Shutters, and he said, yeah, that's the stuff that we do. We do those electronic doors that go up and down. If you have a need for that, look in your local area. They can help you on a nationwide basis. TucsonRollingShutters.com. Want to thank the Sports Mall for having this event here live this weekend, as well as all of the sponsors that have helped us put this thing on, like Zions and First Star Sports. Real quickly, Dave, at the pro player meeting last night, all the pros were asked where they'd most like to come back next year. Every one of them oh, named Salt go. Lake City as their number one choice. So that just zero goes to show you zero. what the sponsors have done here for the players and the fans and the, the players playing in the other divisions. And Sean will try to make some sort of push, try to make something happen early in this second game. There's a point one for serve, zero. Luis Moreno, one to zero. Wow, there's some strength right there from Sean Lenny. But a beautiful re-kill from Luis Moreno, who's now two serve, zero. hit a passing shot and a kill shot to take a 2-0 lead. Short ball. That looked good to me, Dave. Luis trying to both agree. Pump it in with a fist pump, which is an indication that it was not short. Well, he's not Irish, so I'm not sure it is. Luis just teeing off on every shot. Seems like every time Sean Linney makes a great shot, Luis backs it up with one of his own. Light up. For those scoring at home, Dave, that's not an unforced two. air by Luis Moreno, nor is it a 
killer pass from Sean Lenning. It's just one of those Point. sort of neutral shots. And now Sean Lenning finally hits his first unreturned King serve of this match. Double. We've seen Second Sean Lenning, Dave, serve as many as 12 aces in a game. I like that serve right there from Sean. I don't like that shot, though, from Point. Sean, but it did work. Well, you hit it. The Dave Chapman style NYAC fist two wall serve. Well, I like the serve. I just thought he should have let the the return come off the back wall. And Luis hits a terrible shot there. One of the worst he's hit all match. And this is the new and improved Luis Moreno paddle pass. Three serves three. We're all together at three here. Sean Lenning wins, uh, loses the first one, 25 to five. I don't know what was more amazing there, Dave. The Point. serve or that Sean returned that serve. <laughs> Didn't matter, though, as Luis Moreno pounced on the next shot. Four serves, three. Short ball. That ball just made a Second serve. huge slapping sound over there. Sounded like it broke. Well, anything on the right side of the court is going to sound like that. Well, you wonder, Dave, how Luis Moreno can continue Point. to swing this hard and generate this much power at the end of a tournament. First time out, one minute. Luis told me, and this is a quote, I'm just having fun, man. I guess when you're having fun, you just go in there and just hit balls. You don't think about how your body's feeling or how your knees are or fatigue or altitude or anything like that. You just, all you think about is having fun, man. Well, we talked about this earlier, Dave, in the beginning of this event. The guys that have the most fun seem to be the guys that play the best and win the most often in any sport, not just handball sort of going back to that theory Dave that if you do what you love you'll never work a day in your life type of thing as you experience every day you know you love what you do five to three makes it a lot easier three, when you yeah. love what you're trying to attempt to do hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm actually doing what I'm intending to do but I'm trying to you have great aspirations I do All right time in five serves three Nifty shot there from Luis, and he... It turned into an Point. offensive shot for Luis. I would call that an unforced error for Sean. I don't know. That Six ball was three. very, very hard to get as it met the wall right when Sean had to hit it. Point. I actually think that's good for Sean to do Seven this. Seven serves three. Trying to pump himself up here. Seven to three. That's actually just Luis's first Point. unreturned serve. Make that second. In this second game, remember, Dave, when Luis took an 8-1 lead in game number one, six of those points came on unreturned serves. Here, two of those Eight points on unreturned serves. serves. Short ball. Second serve. Great shot Point. from Luis. Really making it look easy right now, Dave. And it is easy when you're set up and stepping into every shot. Sean Lenning's Nine not had that opportunity three. to step into any shots. Point. And Luis, even making that shot, Dave, which was virtually impossible, I think in figure skating, they call that the 10 degree of difficulty maneuver. I don't know. Three. Sort of an inside out paddle into the corner. Broken ball. So he's going to get rid of that point because Luis bounced yeah, the ball on the serve and discovered that the ball was broken. Play the last point. <clears throat> hmm. So we're going to take that off, and now we're at nine again. Unfortunately, though, Dave, I don't have an eraser on my Dave, pencil. I already charted that as okay, a kill. Okay, yeah, throw him one. Okay, well, you're going to have to put a squiggly squiggle through the K. It's a squiggly Thanks, K. Lolita. Oh, okay. We call it a squiggly, squiggly mm. K. Sean Linney now warming this ball up. Luis Miranda loses that point. What happens if this gets down to crunch time? Hey, and when that, that happens. Comes back to it. I mean, it's just the way the game's played, but. 
I believe Sean Linning has an extra push in him. Well, we haven't seen it yet in this match. The closest Sean Lenning has been since the match started was at 3-3 in this second game. Right, replaying the last point, nine serves three. But it's Luis Moreno having scored six consecutive points now. I will have to say that that was a gentleman move from Luis. He could have easily have served that ball. He I could know. have served the ball and got that free point, Dave Fink. And I know a lot of players would have done that. Four serves he did nine. not have to tell the ref that that ball was broken. This looks like... That's a point. I don't agree with that call at all from our referee. That I thought it was, was a great call. Okay. I don't see Five how. Five serves nine. Luis would have had to run Sean over. And he wouldn't have been able to get to it. Well, replay, replay, replay. And now you must agree with that also when Luis has a huge back wall set up Five and the ref nine. stops the play. I agree with that. He did not... I don't think he could have got the, the ball. It bounced in front of him. That's a great passing shot from Luis. Side out. Luis able to take the ball and drive it straight back down the line with a sidearm swing. That's very difficult to do. Ten serves five. Point. Unbelievable serves right here from Luis Moreno. Sean Linning has to get hot, and he has to hope that Luis Eleven serves five. is not. Well, Luis is 75% of the way to winning this title in his fourth race series event. Short ball. We might be renaming Second this serve. tour, Dave, Moreno's race for eight. He owns the tour right now. Replay. Oh, that's a tough call right Five. there. Our ref is struggling right now, a little bit. I mean, he was screened, but Sean had Luis pinned. 11 serves five. It's funny, the offensive players like Garner, who knows not to call those, they jump quickly. And I've seen it many times with Six the referees left. that we've had in the booth. I'd prefer Short. to see the refs call it Second late. Serve. Replay. Six serves 11. like that return from Luis, but Sean is just so deadly in the front now court, the, taking them by the air. The crowd's trying to get behind Sean Linning here. They want to see a match. Seven serves 11. Just cannot hit three wall shots with Sean in the front court. That's what you have to do. Right up. That ball even skipped up just a little bit. 12 serves seven. Sean got within four, now back by five. Point. Just another one of those strange little skip-ins that he has. But it's a terrible air there for Sean, who's 13 serves seven. starting to make a move and then puts a, a poorly struck Luis serve in the ground. Point. Second timeout. And a timeout called from Sean Linning. See Sean Linning walking over to the end of the courts here watching some handball on the adjacent courts, trying to catch his breath. Luis Moreno, Dave, has become like the Tiger Woods of 2000 on this race tour, winning over 50% of the events that he plays. This will be four out of six, which I know is about 67% of the events that he plays. Twenty seconds. He's so naturally gifted, Dave. Luis well, Moreno. let's not discount the amount of thousands of hours that he's put into this game, perfecting his skills. Obviously has a great Sean. aptitude for it as well. This guy has traveled all over the world to play handball since he's about 14, oh. refining his craft. Score is 14, serve seven. Luis has those Point. amazing reflexes. Most guys let that ball come off the back wall and let their opponent reset and re 
take over the front court position, seven. but Luis recognizes that and hits the paddle kill. Short ball. Second serve. Sixteen, serve seven. This might be one of our fastest rally scoring matches of the, the year, Dave. I'm not sure, Dave, that we've seen this lopsided a score line in any rally scoring match. I can't remember a player ever being in single digits seven. in both games in rally scoring. Seventeen. Score here is 17 to 7 in the second game. Luis Moreno is just dominating right now. And Sean not even re entering the picture there after giving Luis a huge back wall setup. I think Sean's just exhausted. He looked tired 18, from the very so first seven. match he played in this tournament. Well, I thought he looked good in his first game against Chip yesterday. He also looked good Second. in a dark match in the Pro Am doubles last night. Point. Now at 19 to 7, Luis is going to go on to get his fourth race championship title seven. here out of six events. Short, short ball. That might be a peel. Peel. I thought I saw that good. Both agree. <coughs> be an interesting stat that we'll do in the next tournament. How Second many serve. appeals are actually overturned? I'd say less than 5%. I agree with you. I'm not sure I've seen one call overturned by the lines in this been entire two this event. Tournament and you weren't here in the booth. Okay. Both with Cordoba refing. Mm. Point. Time out. Glove change. Two Sean minutes. Lenin asking for a glove change. There will be a two minute timeout here courtside and the crowd is really quiet here. I think they expected uh, more fireworks, but really, we have a very tired Sean Linning who's played multiple rounds of handball. Well, let's not take anything away from Luis Moreno, who's been yes. unbelievably dominating. The knock on Luis is that he doesn't right, kill the ball that much, but we've seen him hit 13 flat kills here in almost two games. And I think his serve, Dave, is about as good as I've ever seen it thus far in this match. We've only been on the court for 25 minutes. This is a two minute glove change. Score is 20 to seven. The crowd here, very quiet. I think they expected a little more here, but frankly, Luis okay, is playing okay. lights out and Sean Linning is exhausted between elevation and multiple rounds of handball. Well, I think we should also mention, Dave, that Sean Lenning does not seem to relish these matchups with Luis Moreno. He's lost to him all three times they've played this season. There may be a mental barrier developing or already developed with Sean Lenning facing Luis Moreno. Just does not seem to have that same confidence or swagger that he needs that he brings to the court when he plays everybody else on the tour. Luis Moreno's gearing up now for his 20 fourth seconds. race win. Securing that number one spot. Trying to take over the number one spot in the power rank. All right, time in. Score is 20 serve seven. And he's just five points away from doing just that. Great right camera up. angle right there. We saw that whole thing without having to move the camera. Eight to 20 is the score here. Sean Lenning's not going to give Eight up. Eight serves 20. Short ball. And Sean does not have any zip on his Second serve whatsoever. Serve. Short. And a double fault from Sean. He just doesn't seem to have enough whip, Dave, to carry the short line as low as he's hitting that serve on the front wall. I've seen Sean Lenning hit the serve a foot lower on the front wall and still carry the short eight. line, but with the arm action he has right now, Point. just really no chance. 22 serves eight. And Luis Point. Moreno 
head faking Sean Lenning. Sean Lenning frozen. 23 serves eight. And now, Luis just a couple of shots from point. Match point serves eight. This match point, and Luis Reno takes down right Sean right. Lenning in two, 25 to five, and 25 to eight, winning race stop number six in Salt Lake City, Utah, at the Sports Replay Mall that. for the Aces Handball Tournament and the WPH Race for Eight. <laughs> Players exit the court. There is a round of applause. This is the men's final. Luis Moreno taking down Sean Lenning as he comes out to the court and hands his handball to one of the fans sitting courtside. At least he showed it to them, I believe that he is going to give that ball to them, as he does with every tournament. Well, this Always Dave autographs was, it and hands it off. This Dave was the most lopsided rally scoring match that we've ever seen, not only in the final, but in any round. We've never seen a player held to single figures in both games. Incredible performance from Luis Moreno, who's now completely dominating this race for eight pro tour. I want to say hello to uh, those that are watching this event here live for all around the world. We've had reports from uh, people in Australia tuning into the live broadcast here. I want to thank them for that as they're tuning in as people are now exiting this facility at the sports mall after this uh, electrifying finals that really didn't happen. Let's explain a little bit of what happened here with Sean Lenning and Luis Moreno. Luis looked like it was a combination of a couple things. Luis was just hot. And the second thing is... Uh, Sean Lenning wasn't. He was uh, under under the weather, not feeling good, I, under the elevation, I'm not quite sure. But he had multiple rounds of handball. He played in an, a Pro-Am doubles event, and Luis did not. And he played very hard. You watched him play last night, and he said that he extended himself, and he's unable to come out here and perform well. Now, even with that said, he defeated Alan Garner earlier today, but it was in a long match that took place. It was an hour and 40 minutes, even with rally scoring and a tiebreaker win for Sean Lenning. So uh, it looked like it was difficult for him at times to even move around the court. What do you think went on here? Well, I, I don't think you should discount, Dave, the mental barrier that I think now exists clearly when Sean Lenning faces Luis Moreno. Luis Moreno shows up. He's very confident. He expects to win. He's defeated Sean Lenning four times this year against no defeats. Sean Lenning, obviously, on the other end of that, Dave, as you know, as a competitor, it's very hard to motivate yourself when you're playing somebody that you feel like maybe just has your number. Maybe you think they're better than you, whether they are or not. And it becomes very psychological. I know that you mentioned Sean playing a lot of matches, but that's sort of all part of tournament handball. You sign up for that. And Luis Moreno had the opportunity as well, but he came here to focus on the singles and he just completely dominated the field. Didn't lose one game in the entire event. We're gonna try to get Luis Moreno into the booth here as he makes his way through the series of fans as you're gonna put that headset on Moreno. We will have our cameraman come over here and catch him uh, possibly. Luis, I know you're <laughs> you're out of the camera shot here. Le hand that to me and I'll set it up for you. No, 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 here. Luis Moreno is not the technical wizard that we haven't trained him to be, but certainly technically showing off his wizardry with that uh, play on the court here. Sure. Uh, Let's look at some of the replays here. Luis, here's a replay here brought to you by First Star Sports. You let that ball go between your legs. Today it felt like you just had a lot of confidence. That underhand paddle shot is working exceptional right now, Luis. Talk about that. Uh, I was just going for my shots, and, you know, I thought Sean was a bit off earlier, but I, I was feeling confident all weekend, and, you know, I... I feel great. I don't put any pressure on myself. You know, I enjoyed every single match since the beginning, and I'm just taking it easy on myself, and it seems to be working. I mean... You enjoyed the Fink match that you had earlier? Oh, yeah. All my matches. Now, what are you doing that has made you all of a sudden say that I enjoy playing handball, and I enjoy this, and it's fun, and is it the race for eight, or is it just something else that's going on at home? I guess it could be a little bit of everything, you know, but uh, I, I'm just trying to have more fun, you know. I've been doing a lot of other things other than just handball, and, you know, I used to be, like, so focused on handball that I guess I would put too much pressure on myself, and I felt like I had to do, I had to beat certain people, and now I'm just, like, enjoying it, and 
you know, I enjoy going for a run. Every other day, I enjoy doing my yoga. I enjoy riding. So. Well, you might have to go for a run after this match. It didn't look like you got much of a workout. Only a 24-minute match. It seems like a lot of your shots are improving tremendously. Your paddle kill, I always thought was a little bit of a liability. You left that up. Now you're putting that down, and now you're shooting the ball extremely well with both hands. What are you doing that's, that's made you improve those shots? I'm doing a whole lot of nothing. Hmm. <laughs> that's how you improve your game. Okay. Now, talk about your sponsors and how they're helping you get here to oh. the, the events, and also the ones that previously happened and those that are happening in the future. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm lucky that, uh, you know, I talk to certain people that I meet at tournaments and, you know, I just ask them if they want to help me, you know, travel and all that. And, you know, Jeff with the Tucson Rolling Shutters, he's he's always helped me and, you know, the WPH and uh, a few other sponsors, the Idaho team and, you know, a few other people that, you know, really support me. And I, I appreciate it so much. Without their help, I wouldn't be here. So It I, is important that uh, the working. sponsors, you know, you... You look at what the pros have to do to get to these events. And Dave, and you're also part of this. You, you travel from stop to stop. You, you take time away from the family and friends in your own little groove that you have back home. So you can be kind of lions inside of a cage. And I know at times it kind of, it has to get to you just a little bit that you feel like you're on display. But you know, you're, all, you're not just doing it for yourself, but you're also doing it for the sponsors. As we turn the corner and head toward the Players' Championship and also the pro stop that's going to take place in, in Southern California, we have the Nationals right after that. Do you feel that you, can make any early predictions on what will happen at this year's Nationals? Are you gunning for Brady, or are you just saying, I'm going to go play and, and, and try to do the best I can? That's that's about it, but uh, I just try to win every single match. It doesn't matter who it is, whether it's your mom, Paul Brady, Chapman, or whoever. You know? Actually, I think my mom has a chance against yeah. you today. <laughs> No. Playing match by match is, a, is an important thing. A lot of players try to sit down and they sometimes will put uh, their goals on a on a you know on an index card and put it in their pocket and that sort of thing. But you're just saying my goal is every single day, every second is just something I'm gonna try to do the best I can. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter what it is. Just try try my best at it. You know, if I succeed, if I fail, then now I know you know what I'm good at and what I'm not. So it's kind of I enjoy doing a lot of a lot of different activities. Handball being my favorite one, obviously. Now you're also an accomplished painter, <laughs> and what, talk about your paintings and the things that you're doing as in your artistry. Well, I'm just uh, for now I'm growing my portfolio and kind of, you know, keeping it to myself on, until I have like a huge selection of paintings. So that's when I'm gonna, you know, put it out, and uh, hopefully uh, that's not the only thing that I'm doing. I also I also like to work with cars, so uh, you know I do like like an auto body shop. You know I can. You know, I helped, you know, my friend who, who's a professional at that, and I enjoy doing that. I get paid. Um, painting, it's still painting. <laughs> <laughs> painting is painting, but you're talking about, hand, you know, some of the things that you do best, and I wanted to bring that up because I know that's one of the things that you do as a release to get away from uh, from handball and, and the outside world is you, you, you find your, your release in paintings, which is, a, you know, we all need our vices, and I think that's kind of become your kind of friendly vice. Yeah, when every time I, I have a sheet of paper in front of me, I feel like whether it's writing or painting, I feel like, uh, I feel like you know, joy. Just like I feel in the handball court, I feel like I can do anything that I want. I can try, I can go for any shot, and, you know, there's no right or wrong, you know. It's you just being you, and that's okay, you know. Sure. So that's what I like about painting and you know, handball. It's artwork. Handball yeah. is artwork. Hey, we want to thank you for <coughs> your participation here. Also, hanging around with the uh, the fans that have also come here to watch you, even during this interview. I know it's kind of crazy. Talk about Salt Lake City, Utah, and and how you feel about the sponsors here and those that have put on really what I consider one of the best events that uh, really exists, and that's this tournament here. Yeah, this is this is my first time coming here to Salt Lake, and you know I've had such a great time all weekend, and you know I want to thank everyone, everyone involved, you guys, all the sponsors. You know, it's a it's a pleasure to be here, and I looking forward to coming back next year. Yeah, thank you, Luis. Congratulations you. on your win. Thank you guys. Once again, this is the fourth out of six race stops. Luis Moreno taking down Sean Lenning in two straight in single digits. This is his most dominating performance. Dave Fink. Uh, it's the first time that we've seen this in, in a final where it's been fairly quick like this. I believe even right now we're only at 48 minutes, 43 minutes after the match started, and we're already doing the player interview. 
you know, to sum it up, what are your thoughts here? Well, Luis Moreno, as I said earlier, Dave, has become the most dominant player on this tour. I think he's the favorite going into the Nationals now. We don't know what to expect from Paul Brady. We haven't seen him play in about two years. Luis Moreno is dominating the best that America has to offer. And frankly, Dave, if Luis Moreno serves and shoots and moves the way he did today, it'll be tough for anybody to ever take Luis down. We are going to say goodbye from Salt Lake City. This wraps up the broadcast day and tournament here at race stop number six. We have number seven in Southern California at the Los Angeles Athletic Club coming up March 15th, 16th, and 17th. There will be just a qualifier and pro stop only. You're not going to see an adjacent tournament alongside that. You can go online at r2sports.com and register as a qualifier only to enter into that tournament. You could be the next Luis Moreno for Dave Fink and all of those that have helped out this live broadcast to include Linda Manning and Ben Garad, as well as uh, helpers like Anthony Celesto and Kevin Price and Ashley Moeller. My name is Dave Vincent. We want to say goodbye. Thank you so much for tuning in to this live broadcast. It was Luis Moreno taking down Sean Linning by the score of 25 to 5 and 25 to 8. We're going to say goodbye for tonight here at RaceForEight.com. See you. My name is Bruce Fabrizio. In 1975, I invented Simple Green based on three principles. It had to be safer to use, it had to work, and it had to be completely made in America. From generation to generation, Simple Green has been cleaning everything from car engines and tools to kitchen counters and floors. No matter what you clean, indoors or outdoors, clean it with non-toxic, biodegradable Simple Green. For 20 years, the Inner City Handball Association has educated, mentored, and served young people through handball. Young people that participate in the Inner City Handball Association programs have a high graduation rate from high school and continue on to college. Inner City Handball teams are good athletes, good students, and good ambassadors for the sport of handball. We need your help to continue our work. Inner City Handball Association is a registered 501c3 tax exempt charity. Please donate today. Thank you. It's time to join forces, get energized, and fuel up right. Because starting today, every kid in America has a mission. hero in you be part of the greatest action movie ever the first movie that puts you in the action show us how you train and eat like an action hero join in at actionheroalliance.com we are different society should aspire to be more like us be part of the first class Get energized. Get outside. Hold on, guys. It's gonna get bumpy. And get moving. Experience the power of physical activity. Woo! <laughs> Join the movement at ActionHeroAlliance.com.
working and working out takes a lot of energy. That's why I drink Zenergy. Feeling fantastic and looking good has never been easier. Science, extreme science for your active lifestyle.